In this tutorial, I'll go over topographical features. Hopefully, they should be similar to what you would expect to see on a typical automotive roadmap. The first symbol listed is for road and road markers, which is given by the solid single in double gray lines with a numbered badge to represent the name of the road. Here we can see an example of a highway going down the left side of the map with a badge and the number 622 identifying the name of the highway. Next we have the railroad track symbol which is given by a black solid line with evenly spaced tick marks for railroad ties. We can see an example of the railroad going around the town of Gainesboro on the bottom of the chart here. Next we can see power transmission lines. However, it's important to note that the visibility of the power lines can change significantly depending on the area of flight. For the Washington DC area, many of the power lines are placed in wooded areas. Depending on your altitude and viewing angle, it may be difficult to identify these power lines in the air. We can see an example of a power line cutting across the bottom of the map here. Next is the aerial cable, which is depicted by two solid black squares and a dashed line connecting them. Next is a solid black box which represents landmark features like stadiums, factories, schools, golf courses, and the like. And we can see an example of a golf course here. We've got towers over here and a hospital over here. Next we can see the symbol for outdoor theaters. A lookout tower is charted as an open circle with a filled in triangle at the center and the elevation in feet MSL. Next we have a Coast Guard station which is given by the plus looking symbol with the letter CG next to it. Next we have a racetrack and we can see two examples of racetracks over here by the town of uh, Charleston. Next we have a uh, solid black circle for a tank which can be water, oil, or gas. We can see an example of a water tank over here. An open black circle is an oil well. A solid blue circle for a water well. A mine or quarry is given by a hammer and pick like looking tool which forms a cross shape and we can identify several quarries on the map. One is over here We've got another quarry over here by Bunker Hill. Next we have a mountain pass, which is depicted by two black lines with an elevation next to it in feet MSL. And if we look at the footnote, we can see that it says the pass symbol does not indicate a recommended route of flight or direction of flight and pass elevation does not indicate a recommended clearance altitude and clearance altitude is particularly important for VFR flights. Hazardous flight conditions may exist within and near mountain passes. So you should not plan a flight going through the mountain pass. It's not safe um, and you're not guaranteed to have uh, clearance and this is particularly important if the weather starts to get marginal and your visibility goes down. So be very very cautious of this. Finally, on the bottom, we can see symbols for water features. Here we've got a lake with two dams. We can see a dam over here by the golf course on Lake Holiday. Here we've got the symbol for bridges. This is a bridge for a railroad. These are highway and interstate bridges. Next, we can see a pier. We can see rocks that are in this perennial lake. And we can see a non-perennial lake. And if we go here, we can see that the railroad tracks cross over this bridge. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the topographical features. Most of them should again be familiar. Uh, nothing too complicated here. And that's that.